Hi, this is Karen Greenhouse, and today I'm going to actually answer a question that came up from another YouTube posting I did on the ClassWiz calculator, or the FX991. And the question was, can this calculator do complex numbers? And the answer is yes. So I thought I would show how to do that very quickly. Uh, so here I am, the ClassWiz. This is the emulator, and I need to go to my menu, and you'll see I have you know, my menu options and just... Uh, a note my emulator is in another language not English uh, but this second one where you see the complex I here that's the menu I need to go into get into complex calculations so once I arrow over to that menu very easy to do I'm gonna hit equal or enter and now I'm in complex mode and I can start calculating so to enter complex numbers it's relatively easy let's say we have uh, some calculations we want to add and I want to add in that complex I it's right here where we have ENG, right above it is this I, so if I hit that, that gets my I in there. Uh, so then let's just keep adding some more, uh, so maybe do some subtraction. So again, I want that I in there, and now I'm ready to hit calculate, hit equals, there's my calculation. So it adds, subtracts with complex numbers once you're in that menu item. You can also multiply, you just need to make sure you're using parentheses, so I can do uh, again, to get the I in there, but I'm going to close my parentheses. I want to multiply this by another complex number. Close my parentheses, hit equal again to get it to happen, and boom, there's my calculations. You can also do arguments for your complex numbers. So to get to the argument, so whenever you're in a menu item of any Casio calculator, once you're in the menu item, there's always options, meaning there's more. So if you hit options, we're in complex, menu item, I'm going to hit option, here's some other things I can do. I'm looking for the argument with this, which is number one. So when I hit it, it now knows it's going to do the argument, convert it to the arctan. So I'm going to just put in a complex number here. And now when I hit equal or enter, I get my tangent. Now again, please remember I'm in a European mode, and so the decimal point is actually a comma, but it's 63.43, etc, etc. So that's a quick, easy way to do um, the argument of a complex number. And finally, what I want to show is how you can convert a complex form to polar and vice versa, so polar back to complex. So to do that, let's actually enter in a complex number. So Again, to get that I, I'm just hitting English. But now I want to do the argument of that. I want to change it to polar. So options again. And since I don't see the options, I'm going to arrow down to see more. And here's the one I'm looking for. Well, I already have complex. I want to change it to polar. So I'm going to choose number one. And so here it's saying, here's my complex number. Please change it to polar. When I hit execute equal, it's going to do that for me. And again, remember, this is a decimal 68 point. And you can do the opposite of that. So if you want, if you had a polar number that you want to change into a complex, you have to enter your polar number first. So let's say we have two, um, and to get that angle in, notice this is a same button English, and it's in yellow, which means I need to hit uh, shift, and that brings that angle in here. And let's put 330 in. And now I'm converting back to a complex number. So again, option, I want to convert to complex number, so I'm going to choose 2 this time, and now when I hit equal, I get my solution. So just some examples of the FX991 being able to do complex numbers. It can do a lot. It's a very powerful calculator, um, really worth the price because it's very inexpensive as well. So have fun playing, and I'll catch you next time.